Flooding. It sucks. We all want to do it. Fill our basements with water, use it as a lake, walk downstairs, start swimming with all of our favorite fish. Sounds like a pretty cool idea to me. I mean, the mold and the inevitable demon fish that would arise from you just ignoring them and uh, eventually trying to come and eat you after you came back from vacation. And, uh, wait, what were we talking about? How you're so bad at keeping your fish tanks from overflowing. Shut up, they don't overflow that often. What are you talking about? They overflowed like five times in the past month. Shut up! Anyway, I decided it's about time to replace the old self-leveling siphon system I had on my old aquarium rack with the new updated version for the new shelving. These siphons will not only help prevent overflowing my fish tanks and flooding my fish room, it'll also help me automate my fish room so I can stop worrying about the water changes and start worrying about the fish part of the fish room. First we need to gather our supplies. Each siphon needs one T, six elbows, and around four feet of PVC piping. Recently Home Depot has been selling these packets of 15 T's and 15 elbows for about $3 each. It's a lot easier to get all the supplies I need really quickly. Especially since I had a lot of supplies left over from previous projects and previous siphons. Once everything's on the table, I go ahead and organize it in a way that I can find everything I need really quickly. Now that everything's laid out on the table, I can go ahead and measure what I need. I used a PVC siphon from a previous tank to make sure I get all the cuts pretty accurate without having to bring a tank upstairs. For a standard 10 gallon aquarium, you'll only need about 4 feet of PVC pipe. 10 inches for each of the outside and inside pipings, and a little bit over 10 inches for the standpipe. By using an earlier pipe as a guide, I can make sure all my cuts are almost exactly where I need them and I don't have to measure each one individually. Now that I've got all the pipes cut to size, I can go ahead and start building the siphons. The thing I learned during this build was that pre-preparing the joints was very useful when I wanted to speed up the process. If I had a joint that wasn't fitting correctly or I ran out of PVC to make the joint entirely, I could just pick up one that I already made earlier and was ready to go. While I'm waiting for the siphons to dry, I'm going to make sure all the tubing I need to carry the water from the tanks to the sump is ready to go. Since tubing comes in this coiled form, you're going to need to straighten it out. I used a thinner PVC pipe, stuck it into the tubing, and left it in really hot water. That straightened out, uh, mostly, 
Uh, it took a while, but it got there. Using PVC with a slightly wider diameter, I cut the intake to the top of the tank, just below the rim. By using PVC of a slightly wider diameter, I can make sure that the water doesn't get sucked out too quickly through the intake and cancel the siphon. One problem I came across was that the intake would actually be floating above the water level and continue to rise as the water level rose with it. If I pushed it down manually, the water would get drained, but then the siphon would pop right back up and be useless again. I ended up going back to Home Depot and picking up 2 inch diameter piping instead of 1.5 inch. I also cut it a bit higher this time, so that the top of the PVC intake would match the inside loop of the top of the PVC siphon. This way, the PVC intake doesn't bob up and down like it used to. As the water level rises inside the fish tank to meet the holes that I drilled inside the intake pipe, it goes down through the siphon and out through the back, down to the sump underneath all the shelving. Now that all the siphons are ready to go, all I have to do is automate the in and out pumps to make sure that the entire system is completely automated. The complete automation can wait a little bit longer. Right now I'm just working out all the kinks in the siphons and making sure everything works properly. I can use these siphons as a regular water change system to make everything a little bit easier and so I don't have to manually drain every tank individually. I'm on one HP. Good work. You made it to the end of the video. There's really no, like, prize or anything, but if you enjoyed it, why don't you go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe and maybe even comment and help this channel grow a little bit. I got stuff to do, so see ya. Justice reigns from above. <laughs> Hello there.